Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. This is my first video on AI generated content. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you my process for creating images and uploading them to the stock agency, specifically Adobe Stock and Dreams Time. Um, all right, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this is not a video about how to generate the images. Um, however, I am going to show you um, the software or the, well, mid journey. I use mid journey to generate my AI images. Um, so I'm on mid journey right now. Um, I'll do a separate tutorial on how to, uh, sign up for mid journey and start using it to generate content. Um, I do want to say that, um, there's uh, a free tier and a paid tier. Um, if you want to sell your images commercially or sell your images at all, um, the ones that you generate from MidJourney, you will need to um, subscribe to the, the paid version. Um, with the paid version, you have the option to um, do commercial work or whatever you want with the images, basically. Um, so I'm on the paid tier right now. And generally what I do first is, well, I generate an image. So let's, um, let's generate an image. Let's see, you, you use the imagine command. So you say imagine, and let's say, um, neurons firing in the brain, close up. And hit enter, and now we just wait for it to, to generate. It says it takes um, less than 60 seconds. And it generally does to start generating the photo. There we go. And as you can see, I'm in what's called relaxed mode in private mode. Um, in private mode, no one else can see the content that you generate. So if you're going to use this for commercial use, it might be a good idea to um, switch to private mode. All right, so now the images are generated. And as you can see, it gives us four um, images to choose from. If we click on it, we can see um, the generated content. These look pretty good, um, but they're very small. So we kind of need to upscale them. So we're going to choose which one of these. We can upscale all of them if we want. So I'm going to choose, um, I'm going to choose to upscale this one here. And you'll see why I do that um, later on. So it goes one, two, three, four. So U1, U2, U3, and U4 um, corresponds to those. So I'm going to choose uh, number three. I'm going to say upscale, and it's going to upscale it a little bit. The images that are outputted are very small. Um, We'll, we'll see what the exact uh, pixel dimensions are in a second. All right, so let's wait for that to be upscaled. And while that's going, we don't necessarily have to sit here and do nothing. We can generate more content if we wanted to. Um, let's say, um, imagine, uh, I don't know, uh, let's say Robot Santa Claus. <laughs> Uh, there it, and then I'll just press enter. That's the beauty about these generative um, software is that you can, you know, get imagery of things that you never could with traditional means of photography. Um, yeah, so let's see what it does for this robot Santa Claus. Yeah, <laughs> we can already see what uh what it's trying to put out there. So there we go, uh, uh robot Santa Claus. Um, they don't look too bad. This dude kind of looks like a Viking. Um, yeah, he has the the broad shoulders. Um, yeah, it looks like a Viking guy. <laughs> All right, so our the uploaded well the upscale version is done so from here we click on it and we can open it 
and then we see this is the the generated content and that looks very good however it is still of a fairly low resolution so i'm going to download this or save it to um let's save it as And I'm going to save it to my desktop for simplicity. You know, let's just rename it to and save. All right, so let's go to the desktop and. OK, so this is the image and we can see the dimensions here. Um, and let's pull out the calculator and find out what the megapixels are on that. So. It's width times the height, um, which is 1024 for the height. And that's 1.5 megapixels. And to submit content to Adobe Stock and Dreams Time, um, it needs to at least be uh, 4 megapixels. So we're going to need to upscale that somehow. Um, my upscaling process is I use uh, gigapixel AI, Topaz Gigapixel AI. However, you can use Photoshop, you can use um, Lightroom, um, Pixelmator on the iPad does a phenomenal job. Um, you can use that or Pixelmator on the Mac for, for that matter. Um, yeah, on the Windows side, I'm not sure. Like I said, um, Photoshop or Lightroom should should work as well. Um, all right, so I'm going to open this in Topaz Gigapixel AI, not sponsored. <laughs> um, and from here, you can choose how you want to upscale it or how much you want to upscale it. I wouldn't go too far. I would just really stick to close to the minimum as possible so we don't lose any quality. I mean, Topaz does a really good job at upscaling. Um, as you can see here, it's upscaled 2.2 times and it looks very good, very good. Um, I dare say we can even go 2.5, so 2.5 and let it render. And that still looks pretty good. And here we can see the output resolution. And if we pull out the calculator again, so we have 3840. Oh, can't type 3840 times uh, 2560. And that's 9.8 megapixels. So that's well beyond the minimum. So I'm going to accept that. I'm going to apply. And it's saving it to um, the original image. There is a way to do it where you can save it otherwise. Um, yeah. So generally what I would do next is I would add some, um, some room to this image for like copy or print. So I'm going to open this in Photoshop. Really, this is just an extra step. You really don't have to do this because um, it, it just a bit more time consuming. Um, let's see. So I'm going to hit the crop tool and I'm just going to stretch it out. So you can see over here, people can add whatever they want, whatever content they want. You can choose content aware fill. Um, it sometimes does a good job. It sometimes does not. Um, I, I see we have a fairly clean section here, so I think it would do a good job if I leave it on. We'll give it a try. Um, but the reason I chose this image, it's because it's kind of isolated um, from the edges. So we have kind of a clean edge here, so I can definitely extend the image and it looks good. So let's accept that and see what content to where it does. And there we go. So it did an app. Uh, yeah, it did a fairly good job, a very good job, actually, except for this little portion here. 
And I'm just going to use the brush tool. I'm going to sample the color from close to that area and just do that. Um, let's see. As I'm looking at it, I don't think it's entirely black. Let's see. I'm going to change my Photoshop background. Yeah, it's not. So let's sample the black area over there. And we're just going to and so that up. And that's good enough. Um, let's come back out of that. And yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks very good. Um, so then I would flatten the image. Uh, hit save, control S. All right, so that's saved. Um, and then I use Adobe Bridge to um, do all of the keyword in and title in. So I'm going to open up Bridge here. And as you can see, these are some content that I already generated. Um, all right, so let's go to my desktop. Okay, so here it is. All right, so from here I can, you know, enter all of the keywords. I can say it's copyrighted, copyright notice. Of... And so let's put a title. I'm going to say uh, neuron or synapse. And then I'm going to say generative AI and I have to say I got this from this YouTube channel um, I think her name is uh, Christina um, the YouTube channel is called um, AI tutorials um, she does a really good job and um, yeah that's where I got the idea to put generative um, AI in the title and Let's see. All right, so let's give it a description. Um, and the description only matters if you're going to upload it to um, Dreams Time as well, because Adobe doesn't care about the description. So I'm just going to copy um, the title here and paste it. And then change a little something. I'm just going to put an A at the front. Um, yeah, and that's that. And then keywords. All right, so that's, that's good enough for now. Um, Adobe um, does want you to put in the keywords uh, the following. So first, generative. Then generative AI and AI by itself. Um, they want you to put all of those keywords within the keywords um, section of your image. And that is it in terms of um, titles and keywords. So as you can see, it's, it's titled and keyworded. All right, so now I would go to my Adobe stock. And let's see. So I, I've already submitted a few... Um, content and they were accepted as you can see here um, and I had my first sale um, which is uh, this one here and and that was enough to, to convince me that this is actually worth doing um, as you can see it was uploaded on January 24th today is the 29th um, and it was sold like the next day um, so that's pretty good I don't have a lot of generated content on here. Um, yeah, I, I only have these few. I'm working on getting a lot more on. Um, in fact, if I go to my uploads um, section, I have 39 waiting just to be submitted. Yeah. Anyways, let's upload that one that we just did. So I'm going to go to upload. And... I'm just going to drag it straight from Adobe Bridge. 
So that's uploading. And while it's uploading there, I can go over to um, Dreams Time and upload content. And we're going to upload it there as well. Just drag it. And let's go back to. All right, so now it's uploaded to Adobe Stock. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is change this from, change the file type from photo to illustration. Adobe Stock wants all generated AI content to be um, labeled as illustrations, even if they look photorealistic. Um, category, you can choose whatever category you want, um, graphic resource that's fine for me yeah uh, we can choose it science <laughs> let's choose science and then importantly you're going to click this little uh, checkbox created using generative ai tools that's important and once you do you can click on this little section that tells you all of the requirements about generative ai content And that's actually one of the photos uh, from uh, uh, Christina there. So this page tells you everything you need to know about submitted AI-generated content to Adobe Stock. Let's get back to it. So recognizable people or property, I'm going to say no. Um, I'll do a separate video about um, using model releases and um, property releases for AI generated content and as you can see it carried over the title and not the description and all of our keywords and it also suggests some keywords so we can um, put some more in there if we want all right so once we have all of that and you can see it's it's now green and we're gonna submit it I'm just gonna remove all of these from the, the submission. So do not include in submission. Okay, and I'm gonna submit that one file. So you can see it there and submit. And that's it. So you can see it here, it's waiting to be reviewed. You can see I also have some more that's waiting to be reviewed. Um, yeah. All right. So that's really how you submit, uh, AI generated content to Adobe stock. Um, let's hop over to dreams time and let's see, let's just refresh the page. And I have a lot of content on dreams time that is, uh, that is, is waiting to be submitted as well. Let's see if I can find that one. Yep, so here it is. And then once we we come to this one, I'm just going to... Is this it? This is actually not it. Um, hmm, why can I find it? I think it's still uh, processing, but I'm just going to show you a different... Um, just do it with a different uh, image. I'll use this one here. So we're going to say it's a commercial image, and I can see. And the title and the description is brought over in all of the keywords. And what you have to do, the only thing you have to do for Dreams Time is you have to choose in terms of the the categories, one of your categories must be um, illustrations and clip art um, AI generated. So you choose that, and that is really all you need to do for uh, Dreams Time, and just hit submit. So that's it, that was submitted. Let's see.
So if we go to pending files, you can see it here. And I've noticed that uh, Dreams Time is really quick about um, accepting or rejecting the files. I generally don't submit a lot of content on Dreams Time, um, and I haven't been, but the fact that they accept AI generated content and I'm making them and keywording them um, outside of Adobe Stock, I figure why not just upload it to Dreams Time as well. Yeah, so. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like this. Um, this was really just a, a real quick, I don't know if it was quick, but it was just a, uh, an overview of the typical process that I, I go through when I'm generating and uploading these content. Um, all right, so stick around, and until next time, have a good one.